Sí, 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 ahora, ahora, yo tengo. Sí, sí. A ver, Can you move to this part? I don't want to move to this part. And I'm going to put this over. We can go together. Yeah. Put on my glasses, otherwise I don't see anything. Do we need anything coming here? Yeah. I have experience with it. Cops hate to be filmed, so you just have to tell them like, oh no, I'm just practicing with the light or whatever. No, I have a hard time. No, they're probably you're, even trying to take it from you take How come you're not a producer? Things? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Because I, I, uh, I do camera, camera stuff. Do you need that space as well? It's not mine. No, Okay, because we don't need them. We don't need them. Do we need any wrap? Any... No, it's a box. Do we need any of that? Put down that camera, God. There's the police, look, there's more. They're gonna make us. Right, John. Whoopi, this woman is here, it's shot. And I, and I was wondering who's gonna speak. So you have to, uh. This woman we're not put on. What are you doing? You're so waiting to kill a lady. Oh, really? Rock, you know, with her. So I went to the money. You have some money, so I can go buy the CD. Oh, when? Now? To go to the ATM See, look, first. everywhere it has my name. Movie star. Movie star. These are all little omen look, signs. Movie star. Look at this. Look, look, look. Hey. Elvis. Elvis. Oh my god. It's Ibiza. It's, 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 it's Spanish for Ibiza. Ibiza. Elvis. Elvis. That's, See, that's I'm, the I'm, I'm here. That's the spelling of Ibiza. Yeah, that's great. There's it signs is, right? all over the city. All, all over the but I am meant to be here. Well, where's the other stuff? You want to oh, movie star, out? movie star. You need to get some money. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just being nuts. You're being what? I'm just being nuts. Yeah. My normal self. Yeah, really cool. I'm looking for a bank. Really? What's bank? ATM. Yeah. Casha Banco, Banco Casha. I bought, uh, I bought to myself. So, yeah. so I can buy my CD. Hey, John, you're going to take, John, yeah. you're going to take some out for me? Why, you want some money? Want some money, honey? Didn't I give you lots already? No. Well? I have, I've hardly touched any myself. Every time I draw it out, some production thing happens and it's all gone.
Vendetta Records. Yeah, I like the logo. Tina, tell me about it, please. This is my album, Spank Off, or an Ibiza Spain. My record, not your album. My record, that's right. Yeah. Album is a whole album. The record single. is a record. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, that's just a bit of information. With the hottest label right here in Spain. I signed it for them. And I have to get one. They just ordered 10 yesterday and they sold out. Good sign. Okay. I'm going to buy the CD you next. Buy something? Do they have it? Yeah. I'm happy. <laughs> they, they, they sold out. They just had 10 yesterday. Do they have the Maxis? Steelhouse the Cafe del Mar, Volume 4. No, that's the last one. Number 3, the latest one, Steelhouse. He me. That's his personal copy. <laughs> now we're going to buy my CD, um, Ministry of Sound, Spring 2004 40. Annual CD, and it's on a compilation with all the hottest tracks, so I'm really excited about that. And I get to buy it right here in Ibiza, Spain. Oh, I gotta get one of those vinyls. Yeah. Muchas Tell gracias. About, <laughs> Tell me about how that came to be, how you ended up doing so this. Uh, this number? This song? Yes, but he's out of them. He's oh, got to order some. Tomorrow morning. Oh, tomorrow? Yeah, the vinyl again. Do you, do you have the, we um, went to uh, uh, Oldenburg you, uh, Film uh, Festival. We were there. <laughs> and uh, Algo came to uh, meet with John because I've already had met him during the pickup shoot in no, no, Miami. The and so he uh, no, no, met us there. And no, 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 again, Algo and I made okay, another yeah, song yeah, inside yeah. the hotel I room. No, no, come in. Just like that. Just like that, with his little G4 microphone. Phone. We each had a little headpiece, cool huh? you know. So nice. well, we made it right there on the spot. So our, our album should be called Hotel Rooms, because <laughs> every track we've made has been in a hotel room. <laughs> or once was in Talison's room in my house. That's two, right? How many? One, two. How many other okay. songs have you guys recorded? We've recorded um, probably like five songs so far. Have you done any of this trip? 47, 90. No, but we you? will at the end of the production. Okay. We don't want to cross them. We have a free head, and then we'll write something about this trip. So that's how we're going to do it. We write on the spot. How long did it take you to record to the club? It took us about um, 20 minutes. First he wanted me to sing it in the melody, and then I suggested I rap it. I was like, you know, let me just rap it, and let me see. It came out really kind of good. Surprise! <laughs> I think things done on the fly are always good, you know, that's where real improv comes in. <laughs> real true life. <laughs> Did you, when you felt comfortable with it, you weren't nervous about going to this hotel? No, I know Kung Fu, what do I got to worry about? <laughs> Yay, I got it! And one's a gift to my favorite fan, Zoe. <laughs>
She's my favorite fan. She's the best. I was like, oh. She's like, you know, she asked me, she's like, what's it like being a rock star? She's <laughs> so cute. I was like, I don't know. It's kind of cool. <laughs> I didn't know what to say to her. I didn't want to say, I don't know. I have no clue, you know. Is there like a billboard here? Is there like a chart for, you know, staying? Or There's a, a lot of DJ work? charts. How do the rankings work? The rankings, I'm not really too sure. You'd have to ask um, Algo about that because he's like the professional in this whole music business. I'm an actress and I'm just starting to dabble with it and I'm really enjoying it. Okay, but say again, what number? What's the ranking of this one? This one's uh, in the top 10. The video is number 10 right now on MTV Dance UK. And um, the song is top five, number five, number one on a lot of DJ charts all around the world. You made, wait, you made a video of the song? Yes, we made a dance video to the club. And it's airing on MTV Dance UK and The Box. And Do you have a copy? Here? Not here, but back at home. Oh, I guess all we have to do is turn on the TV. Maybe <laughs> has one on his laptop. On the laptop, yeah. On the internet you can find it too. And you can vote for it. Yeah, it got voted number 10 this shooting today? What, what, what's your scene? What's our scene? Do you have a scene today? Hurry up and wait scene. <laughs> today I said, no makeup. What am I worried about? <laughs> today, you're just do, today you're doing makeup? No, you, I'm doing everything. You're acting today? Uh, no, just behind the scenes with you. Oh, okay. Yes, production. Yeah. Terry, what are you doing tonight? Doing stuff at the beach. Tina, can you take care of my back? At the beach. Sure, where are you going? With naked women. Sure. I don't know, just at the beach, shots yeah. at the beach. Just keep it with you.
What's your I, subject? Yeah, I'll just sit here and wait for What's your emotional? Yeah. I'll wait here. What's like your character? I'm using the little head instead of the big head. <laughs> As thought process. <laughs> In the, on the beach scenes. <laughs> Cabbage. New pants. Bike training. Bike training. Too late. No, you're fine. You're fine. No, it's fine. Your ass looks good, baby. And, 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 and the sound guy. You got a nice ass, baby. <laughs> so a lot of actors and, and artists. They don't really take control of their career the way you and John do, right? I mean, yeah, no, we don't are... depend on agents. We make it ourselves. <laughs> Elaborate a little on that. What does that mean? That means, uh, you don't know, finding jobs, producing jobs, creating jobs. That's how I started my career in Miami Beach. I was like, okay, two years of training, now what do I do? Hmm, get a job. What on casting is terrible at casting, so I don't know what it is, it's just terrible. <laughs> They don't know what to do with me. I'm an odd fish. <laughs> so I uh, just started. I was like, oh, I know what I'll do. I'll produce some local commercials because all my friends own stores and restaurants and hotels. I'll convince them to, you know, they need advertising. So um, I met this great director, Miguel Delgado, and I said, all right, let's uh, make some commercials. <laughs> so I'm actually six years ago, and there are at least two of them are still airing today on cable, local cable. And I'm in on both. <laughs> I didn't actually get to be star of them, but that was okay. At least I got a part. <laughs> okay, so that was a way of taking control of your career. Yes, and then we actually hooked up with some producer, Sam Lukowitz, some people know, uh, Pan Am Pictures, and um, started producing a movie called Miami, and I actually starred in that, played the assassin. That went to... Uh, the AFM. I went to the AFM, dressed up as a sexy assassin every day. Last day I signed a two-picture deal with North American Releasing and whew, off to Prague in the winter. <laughs> and so uh, then I moved to Hollywood. <laughs> I was like, oh, now I have to be in LA. <laughs> and that was years ago. And now we're here in Ibiza, Spain, shooting Hey DJ. And I'm a star! <laughs> And you found somebody Working in, John in progress. Yes, who John. Who has a similar philosophy. Of yes, taking yes. I met John in LA, Venice Beach, and um, he had blue hair. And my pickup line to him after watching him walk by for months with this blue hair that kept washing out. <laughs> and I saw him one morning at the coffee shop, and I just said, Did you just dye hair blue? <laughs> I didn't know what else to say. But I knew he was a filmmaker, and Regina who was doing this uh, music on his film, Lucinda Spell, told me, you gotta talk to this guy, he's got blue hair, he walks back and forth on the boardwalk every day. And I was like, oh yeah, there goes that guy. <laughs> and I was doing massage on the boardwalk. I was, that's how I was surviving, going on auditions and doing massage on the boardwalk in Venice Beach. Didn't really get any work. <laughs> but I did start singing the blues. <laughs> You had never, you had never met John in Miami. No, actually, um, when you were making your movie um, "Girl with the Hungry Eyes" in Miami, I owned South Beach Massage, and you were in my building. Do you remember the Webster Hotel? You guys were that's where John was staying. I would just see this guy like sitting around in my lobby, and he had this mohawk. I was like, who's that weirdo? Let me see you. <laughs> And so I, you know, I never spoke to him, oh, of course, because, you know, I was on a different wavelength back then. <laughs> and, and then I think it was you, Michael, that came up to me and said, hey, you want to massage some of our crew and the director? I'm like, sure. How much? Full body. He said, for free? Just credit in the movie? And I was like, credit? It doesn't pay my rent. No, thank you. <laughs> so uh, that was our first encounter. Oh, uh, with John. And missing each other. Yeah. Who's the weirdo in my lobby? <laughs> and it was meant to be. It wasn't meant for us to meet then. So uh, we met in Venice Beach, which was beautiful. So after two hours of sitting at the coffee shop and chatting, realizing that I'm also a behind the scenes kind of a filmmaker. He didn't, he didn't even know I was an actress. I didn't even bring it up, actually. <laughs> he hired me. And then uh, I started doing PR and I got him articles and magazines and I got him um, an interview and an 
article in the LA Times, I guess, or LA Weekly. So he's like, you know, it's a good investment. And then a month later, we started having this fling. <laughs> and I got fired. <laughs> Is that what happened? Because he didn't want to work where he slept. Well, we, we both decided it was best. Yeah. Yeah, so it was okay with me. And then I think uh, Hey DJ was the first time that he actually saw me do my acting performing and, you know, started to take me serious. How long did you go to do How long did you go to do He didn't even know I could do it. You know, because I didn't mention it because it was all about John at that point. <laughs> Still is, but that's a good thing. <laughs> I always tease him. Oh, John, 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 John. <laughs> you want her in shock too. <laughs> because I'm so me, 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 me. <laughs> but I had to put that on the side burner for a while, especially after, uh, or while I was pregnant with John John's baby. <laughs> and then we have our beautiful talisman, who I'm so proud of. We have a beautiful, you know, talisman, talisman, talisman. <laughs> it takes a while when you're all me, 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 me in your life to like have a step back and you know, humble, and you learn, and it's not all about you. How do you deal with that? Tell it's, me about uh, that. How do, you mix, how do you mix having a child and focusing on your career? Um, well, thank God for mom and dad. <laughs> That's all I can say. I have great parents, and they love being grandparents. I mean, they tried four, five times to have a boy, so they've got five daughters. I'm the tomboy in the family, so thank God I had the boy. Woohoo! I'm the champion. <laughs> There's only girls and granddaughters in my family, <laughs> so Talison's the only boy. So he's very lucky and very spoiled. So um, that's how I deal. I have parents that help me out. So when I I got like I had to go do my HBO TV series that I starred in, and I was uh, in Utah for six weeks. So Talison was in Oregon for eight weeks. That was really difficult, but it was really good for him, and it was, you know, good for mommy so she can have her creative time too. Because daddy's always on creative time, so he's got no time. <laughs> but now that Talison's getting older, older, he's uh, five now, or nearly five. John will have more time because he goes to school. <laughs> what do you love most about what you do? About you know, what do you love most about singing? What I love most about my art as a singer and as an actress is the transformation. I love to transform. I guess that's, that's what it's about. Getting outside yourself and becoming somebody else, which is really a part of yourself in some, you know, morph way. So I, that's what I like. It's an escapism. What do you, what do you want to say to people as an artist? What do I want to yeah, say? What do, you, what do you want to communicate? Um, be honest, be truthful, and then everything else just kind of works itself out. And if you if you had to use like one word that you think describes you as an artist, what would that one word be? It's a hard question. That's a hard question. Yeah, I would just have to say love, <laughs> because that's where I come from. Love. So it's all about love. And um, on the same, there's all, there's that, that I, like I, when I, my characters are all about love and my characters are all about being wicked. So I think when you have the Pentium, you can go drastically in one to another area. Oh, we're Sorry. Like, flocking. Sorry. Hold on. So I'm a Libra, I'm a scale. And desperately trying to find balance. <laughs> Hi. What's it all about for you, Terry? What's it all about, Alfie? What's it all about, movie star? I don't know. Do I? What's it all about? Well, putting one foot in front of the other, one minute after the other. Well, turning in circles, um, having something to eat in the morning, waking up. <laughs> What's it about for me? Well, 
to keep working. Not be too idle. Why? Well, you stop, you die. No, um, having a rest, having a vacation is good, but I like to be active if I can. Last year was a bad year for that, but um, this year looks much more promising. I do what I do? Yeah. Camera? Because I What's the whole meaning of it all? I want to be a cinematographer, so you have to start from the bottom and work your way up. Right. So. Have you ever thought of just sleeping your way to the top? Sneaking my way? Sleeping your way to Sleeping the top. my way? Well, it's not really the honest way there. And, you know, I think the more you work, the more you learn. So I'll be well prepared when I reach the top. Got it. As opposed well to deserved. sleeping your way and you exactly. get to the top and it's like, no, oh, you and know how yeah. to do is sleep. If it's a fast way up, it's always a fast way down. Now if you step your way up, and you know, hopefully you'll stay here and not go down again. It'll just, you know, keep on going up. Keep on stepping, stepping, stepping. Like a pyramid. It's a good philosophy. Are you complaining? The whole, the camera crew is like... No. It's not the camera crew, let me tell you, come here. It's not the camera crew. It's, it's the art department, the camera crew, the assistant director, the direct, uh, yeah, assistant director, the transportation, traffic controller, PA. It's all here right now. You're, you're looking at it. It's here. Not the director. Everything else, man. Not, I'm not the finance either. But please, give me a break. I need help. Can you send somebody? Please. Or at least get some water. At least get me some water. <laughs> I am not a fool, you idiot. I am not an idiot, you fool. I'm a fool, you idiot. Did you shave your head this morning? Are you, are you seeing my, e my you the, the hair in my ears, man? Okay. Who clips Don't, your ears? Let me tell you something. Oh, well, Who clips your ears? This guy sleeps kind of like in a back room. Nice. He says it's the cave, but it does, in fact, the room is so back there that we don't know what's going on there. Don't cut the camera. I hear screaming every night. We're screaming, yelling. It's, I don't know what it is. It's not his voice. It sounds like it's him, him but possessed in some weird th way. I don't know. This guy is very strange. I asked the first time, where are you from? And he goes, eh, ah, uh, eh. That tells you everything. He doesn't even know where he's from. Then he said, well, hey, LA. What the hell are you for? What are you for? I'm dying. Uh, yes, I can reach. But I mean, meanwhile, when you stop the production to do water, you know, meanwhile, somebody can get water. I mean, oh, I have to. Oh, I have to. I have to. I have to. You're the AD. That car is getting up there. Okay. Tell the me. The set is yours. Okay, I'm ready for rehearsal. Yes. The cars will, all the way, yes. The cars will, well, back up a little. The cars will come to the motorcycle. The white car, we'll start rolling with the white car. The white car will park right here.
Okay. Not a matter of how many no, nothing. People. I just wanted to move that out of the way. Yeah? Okay. Andrea knows what to take from the bag. Everybody eating yeah. bananas. The good stuff. Good. What I wanted. Andrea. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh, I'm kidding. Oh, I'm kidding. Oh, I'm kidding. Oh, I'm I'll eat with the rest of the monkeys. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go down there. I lived on bananas for two months in Africa. Bananas and bread. No. You can almost live on bananas. But you cannot. Almost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, thanks. You can almost live on bananas. Really? I mean, yeah. yeah. They, it has, a, they have a lot of calories, yeah. right? Well, they just have a lot of um, of the, you know, what Sugar. you need, the, the, the whatever. The I like the, the potassium, right? Yeah, no, but it has like good. a lot of. <laughs> That's not like good idea. Yeah. We're going to go have coffee, so if anybody wants it, so that there. Okay. Yeah. What a new one. Arr, 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 she blows. Give me my water. Water. It's not Give asking for much. <laughs> Give me a little sanitary surrounding for my water. Don't worry. This crew has no disease. Andrea, this crew is disease free, right? He's a little concerned about drinking water from the bottle shared with everybody. Can you vouch that this crew <laughs> has no diseases? Well, no. I don't know. No, actually, because we're all tormented by diseases, yeah, you know? I have one, I actually, I don't know. I'm clean. I'm totally clean. Every, everything. I only have mono. Really? You have mono? Do you have herpes? No. Not that. Let me see. Do you have herpes? Do you have, do you have herpes? Anyone no, I never had herpes. You sure? I hate herpes. <laughs> Do you know if do you know if Augusto plans on giving me Augusto?
I don't want to be a movie star. I want to work like a movie star. <laughs> what kind of roles do you want to play? Tell me again, like you told me yesterday. I hope you understand me this time. Psychopathica. <laughs> Dangerous. Yeah. Are you as a person a little psychopathic? <laughs> Probably. I don't know. You wouldn't call you, would you consider yourself very balanced, very cool, or on the edge? Uh, another hand. I don't know. Senorita. Senorita. Somewhere in the middle. Senorita. I don't know. Sometimes balanced, sometimes cool. When you're, when you're a mother, probably, when you have to take care of your kids. You have to find that part of yourself, right? To be cool. To be in control? I know. I oh, don't she's know. She's crazy. Look at her. She's crazy. She's a psychopath. <laughs> You're scaring the shit out of me. I'm going to lock my door tonight. Oh, yeah, you better. I'm locking my door tonight. You better. For sure. Yeah. I see in your eyes something brewing, something percolating. Really? Something about me. Something Something dangerous. about you. Something dangerous. You are a good psycho. <laughs> <laughs> Did you, you, you order coffee? Did you want a coffee? Uh, you want a coffee? <laughs> you want a coffee? Oh, yes, please. You know she dances? You see? <laughs> It's a very, yeah, it's, it's something that psychopaths do. What? They sit and then they get up and they dance. <laughs> they dance. <laughs> and then they put their hand. Oh, uh, Andrea, pocket. can I have my blue yeah. bag, please? What else? And then they sneak into people's rooms late at night. Nobody ever knows what they're thinking, but they're always thinking, always thinking. Always have something in mind, something a little devilish. A little devilish. Oh man, you're freaking me out. You are freaking me out, lady. Get away from me! Get away! Ah! <laughs> get, away. get away from me! Get away from me! <laughs> no, no, I slipped on there. See, that's why I have this strap, so it's the camera cannot get hurt. If the camera what? The camera can't get hurt. The camera is protected by this strap. Oh, I see. So the camera cannot fall. Well.